Have you ever thought about becoming a vegan? I am here with our long-standing Fit Club member, Terry, who has been a vegan for over four years. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining me, Terry. Now, Terry, tell me, why did you become a vegan? Well, I have a very strong history of a, a family heart disease, and I lost both my parents to uh, heart attacks and my younger brother. So after my younger brother passed away, my doctor decided to do a extensive medical workup and some of the issues that happened with them mm -hmm. uh, started to happen with me. And I decided to take a different route, uh, not medication. I decided to use food as my medicine. Okay, so it was for health reasons yes, then? Yes, definitely. Okay, and Terry, what is the difference between a vegetarian, a vegan, and a plant-based diet? Well, a vegetarian um, can incorporate a lot of different elements. You can have ovo-vegetarians, which like eggs, mm -hmm. or pescatarians, which will just have fish right. and vegetables. Um, vegans, um, there tends to be even a little bit of a political aspect to it. Um, you can eat chips and have Coke and still be a vegan. But that's not healthy that's too. That's not healthy, right. Okay. But they'll, they won't eat, um, wear leather, they won't, some won't eat honey, um, where a plant-based is more of a whole food. I went the plant-based whole food aspect because that was the healthier route. I see, okay. And Terry, um, so what do you typically eat in a day? Uh, oatmeal, for sure. Oatmeal. I eat oatmeal most mornings uh, or smoothie, green okay. smoothie. Uh, for lunch, I'll have a big salad with beans. And for dinner, I'll have some kind of casserole or soups. Um, and then maybe um, like um, apples and almond butter for a snack. Terry, so tell me, where do you get your protein from? Well, there's protein in all food that we eat, just in varying degrees. I eat a lot of beans, a lot of lentils, a lot of nuts and seeds, almond butters. Um, there's protein in everything. It's just a matter of how much protein that you want right. and how much your body requires. And I heard that even broccoli has a lot of protein. Yes, yes. Uh, broccoli actually for 100 grams of broccoli, it has more protein than 100 grams of beef. Oh wow, that's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. So for me, I know that I'm reluctant to start a plant-based diet because I don't want too much estrogen, mm. specifically with tofu. Yes. Yeah, that is actually a common fear for a okay. lot of people who want who, who want to go into that road. Um, but you have to understand that tofu doesn't have estrogen. It has phytoestrogen, and that is a different molecule than estrogen, mm -hmm. and actually has been found in scientific studies to fight cancer really? and not promote it. Okay. Yeah. There is a vegan bodybuilder called um, Brian Turner who did a, an experiment on himself, and he ate a pound of tofu every day for 30 days and then he took his testosterone level before and after and he found his testosterone level actually went up oh, wow. after the 30 days. Okay, that's yeah. very in interesting. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and lastly, Terry, do you ever miss meat? I miss meat every day. Every day. I loved bacon. First time my husband made bacon when I went vegan, I had to go for a walk. So um, I do miss, miss meat, I miss mm -hmm. eggs, but I prefer to be around longer for my kids, be around my family longer, and that to me is a worthy sacrifice. Okay, for sure. Thanks Terry for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. I definitely look forward to incorporating more plant-based meals into my diet. You won't regret it. And there you have it. Thanks FitFam for joining me on Neri's Kitchen, and I'll see you on the blue. Got it. I'm starting, I look at the window and I went, I don't think I can do that. Everyone looks through the window. <laughs> well, it's funny because RJ was asking me how long have you been? I said, I think she's been with us for two years. He's like,